Instagram now lets you stream directly to them via RTMP, and I'm gonna show you how it works. You're gonna wanna start by logging into Instagram on a computer. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure your profile is a professional account. So if you go to edit profile and you go down to the very bottom of your settings, it's gonna tell you if it's a professional account or not. It should say switch to professional account right here. Ours is already a professional account, so let me go to the next step. If you click create and then you click live video, you'll see you now can add live video details. So let's just call this a test. And then I'm gonna select my audience, which public is live to everyone, or you can do practice. So let's do practice. And I'll hit next. And now you'll see that Instagram gives you a stream URL and stream key. So you might be wondering, where do I put those? Let's actually go to our BoxCast dashboard. So inside the BoxCast dashboard, you're gonna wanna schedule a broadcast. So once we hit schedule, we'll call this test to Instagram and we'll select a video source. So I currently am using OBS. So I'm gonna select an RTMP source and I'm gonna to go to private. And right here is actually where you wanna put Instagram in. So if you click on RTMP destinations, you click configure new RTMP destination, you're gonna to wanna to make this a single use RTMP. Sadly, Instagram is not making this a static stream key. So what that means is every time you go live, this stream key here will change. So you're gonna to have to do this every time you wanna go live. So if we just copy the stream key in here and copy the server URL and then just hit add RTMP destination, this broadcast is now ready to go. So let me hit schedule broadcast and let me hit start streaming on OBS. And once this broadcast gets up and going, I'll show you what you need to do next on Instagram. Okay, so now that our live stream is live, you can see a couple things. One, if you go to diagnostics and scroll down, you'll see that where our simulcast is working to Instagram. So if we go up and we actually click on our Instagram profile, you'll see that the video is there. Now it will be 16 by nine and not vertical like the typical Instagram live video, but we're hoping that in later iterations of Instagram live that they will approve this. So once you're ready to go live, you just hit go live. And you're gonna wanna keep this open because this is where you're gonna be able to manage your comments. Or I really like this, you're able to see an event log. So when the broadcast started, you're able to see some stream metrics. I think that's a really nice touch by Instagram. So once you're done, it's just as easy as hitting end live video. If you have any other questions about how to go live to Instagram, let us know at questions at boxcast.com and we'd be happy to help.